Hey, what's up YouTube? With an opening like that, you'd think that I'm a YouTuber. Well, perhaps I am. <laughs> Thank you everyone. I've just reached my first modest goal of 250 subscribers. And to celebrate, I'm gonna give away this homemade tool. The blade is 01 tool steel. And the body is a sliding dovetail construction. You can just see the, the join there. Wood is Merbau, a very hard wood we use in Australia for decking. So it'll do well as a plane. This will be a short video, a quick shop tour. See what's been going on around here. Point out a couple of past projects and tell you about some of my exciting upcoming projects that I've got planned. With your support, my next modest goal is a thousand subscribers. So let's get going. In a couple of my past videos, you may have noticed that I had like a block nose. Well, I did. And I still may sound a little off, but I just had a sinus operation. And as a result, I now have more energy. And yay, I can breathe. And in the last couple of months, I've been uploading at least every week. And that's been a pretty hectic schedule, considering I also have a full-time day job. The plan now is to have a short break from YouTube and then come back strong. I'm going to upgrade this space into a smart workshop. Smart sensors, smart lights. I'm going to put a six kilowatt solar installation on the roof. And I love, and I will always love, restoring and using old tools. And I'm going to keep on doing that, but I'm also definitely going to incorporate some cool electronics in my projects and bring you along for the ride. For example, I have plans to make a floating shelf in my bathroom. So while we're at it, let's make it smart. A couple upcoming projects, potential projects. It's a cool little saw. Never seen one like that before. So that should turn out pretty cool. The essential dartboard. Made from pallet wood. Arcade machine. That would be an interesting build video. This is my switchboard. Got a 15 amp circuit and two 10 amp circuits, 240 volts. All the walls are insulated with earth wall insulation and on top of that 12mm ply, the bandsaw and some potential upcoming coming projects. Oh, I love these saw blades. Drill press from Bunnings. My metal working bench and some of my hammers. Particularly like this one. Down here I've got power tools. Miscellaneous stuff. Screwdrivers, pliers, cutters, spanners, grinding discs, other miscellaneous stuff in there. I like making handles. Made that handle. It's stained with steel wool and vinegar stain. Made these handles. Plan is to put those axes on the wall here one day. My first attempt at making a picture frame. That's a railroad spike hammer. Antique hammer. Not sure what the sort of hammer that is, but it's got a, an unusual head on it. A couple of bitten braces. Cool axe.
That's my first knife handle. In case I get thirsty. This thing put me in hospital and I've never sharpened it. Sharp enough. I was rubbing it with um, sandpaper and just took the top of my fingerprint off. <laughs> I quite like the handle. These old spirit levels should make a good restoration project. And I reckon I can make a reproduction. Hatchets. A couple of machetes. My collection of printing saws. <laughs> this one's got the Australian Army stamp on it, which is quite interesting. My lathe. Books. More planes. My first dovetail boxes, and I make some more. My collection of vintage screwdrivers. My extremely dangerous cleaver. One, because it's so heavy, and two, because it's so sharp. If I drop this, it just bloody run. I made a build video for this. And the interesting thing is the effect I did on the handle. It's a steel wool and vinegar stain, and I quite like it. This is the shutter for my window. I just sort of just prop it up in the frame. In here I've got sandpaper, miscellaneous stuff, more sandpaper, painting stuff. Because I'm, I'm a painter. More sandpaper. Oh, and down here I've got screws, scraps, my Triton workbench, which I use as a router table. So that'll be a project in the future. I need to make a new router table, something better. My dust collection. The only thing I use it for is this beast of a thickness of planer. One thing I get asked about is my shop lights. Basically that power switch powers on a 12 volt power supply, which powers an Arduino, which powers a bank of relays. Both are cool, but I wanted each one of these LED strips to be individually addressable. So not only can I have this effect where the lights turn on one after another, I can have one bar on, which is quite bright. Press this button, two bars, press the button again, three bars, and now we're super bright. So that'll be an upcoming project, turn these lights into smart lights. And the person I'm going to give my free tool giveaway to is Tiger Carpenter. This is the original and the plane that I used to um, design the restaurant. This is my first prototype. And these three are the sliding dovetail construction planes that I've detailed in the build video either up there or in the description. I've picked this one, given it a clean, a bit of a tune up. Let's see how it works.
Oh, there you go. Yeah, I hope you're excited, Tiger Carpenter, because it's going in the mail today. I know you want it, and I know it's going to a really good home. Enjoy. I've got to tell you, the Australian summer is bloody hot today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you when I get back.